what is going on everybody? Fashion Week has officially kicked off here in Pokemon Go and this event lasts from today, September 27th until October 3rd at 8 p.m. During this fashion event, we get a brand new Pokemon debut, we get brand new shinies released, and some old Pokemon wearing costumes that also have some shiny forms. And these Pokemon are dressed to impress, so I thought no better place to come for this event than Fashion Island itself. I also had to dress for the event because how can I expect these Pokemon to shine for me when they got all dolled up and nice and spiffy and I show up just wearing a tank top? That doesn't seem right. I gotta dress the part for them, you know? We got, we're in this together. A little hot here in Southern California. Summer is supposed to be over. I thought, I thought we're in fall officially. But there's no price too high for fashion, so we are in it. <laughs> so, the Pokemon making its debut is Marini, which is a uh, Alolan Pokemon from Generation 7, the Sun and Moon games. It is a nightmare awful Pokemon that evolves into Toxapex. As you can probably tell, I'm not a fan of this Pokemon. First of all, I don't like the way it looks. I'll just, just throw it out there. I don't understand why this thing is involved in my fashion event. Second of all, Corsola is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon of all time, and this thing, in almost every Pokedex entry, eats Corsola. It feasts on them. That is absolutely horrific. And there's some copyright music over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my little uh, free from copyright corner. So yeah, I know there are a lot of Marini fans, so I apologize for any insults, but they eat Corsola. That's just, that's not okay. They eat Corsola. They're Marini. They're meanies. I don't like them. So that is the Pokemon that they have debuting for this fashion event, for whatever reason. After that, we've got the brand new shinies that have been released during this event, and the first one, of course, is Furfro, or Furfrow. Furfro as a Pokemon is not one that I would normally be excited about, however, this shiny is freaking gorgeous. It goes from the white to the black, which is an amazing contrast. And now Furfro's kind of got a little special place in my heart after the travels in Europe. If you guys are not aware, you can change the haircut of your Furfro depending on wherever you are in the world. Some Furfro haircuts are like only available in the Americas, some are only available in Europe, but some are in specific places such as like Egypt, you can get like a Pharaoh cut or even Paris. So this is a very cool shiny Pokemon and it makes me want to get as many as possible because the last fashion event was the only time I saw Furfro before. So when travels begin again, I'll have plenty to get all the extra haircuts and some for trade as well. So maybe Make sure you're saving your fur froze and try to get as many shinies as possible. The next shiny is an awesome one because finally we're getting another brand new shiny legendary Pokemon. We are getting the Yveltal. Yveltal is currently in five star raids. I have not done any raids for it yet. I've seen a lot of people getting the shiny on like their first or second raid. So I'm assuming the rates are a little bit more boosted than normal. Just disregard what I said just there. They're probably standard rates and everyone's just getting lucky. Yveltal is an awesome shiny. I'm not the first to say this, but it looks like some delicious bacon. So that is definitely on the agenda for today. And finally, we have some brand new costume shiny Pokemon in the form of Diglett with one little uh, bowler hat, it seems. And Absol wearing a fashionable costume is a brand new shiny here. Those are on top of the previously released Krogunk, the Butterfree, and the Blitzel wearing a nice little bow tie. If there's anyone that I'm missing, please Please let me know in the comments. Oh, uh, Corellia. Corellia's there too. I already have that one though. That's why I forgot about it. Oh, and Shinx. Ah, okay. There's a, okay, there's Shinx as well. Okay, now if I missed any, please let me know in the comments. Shinx was one I already had from the last fashion event, so they just they, they, they since they were old news, they weren't they weren't in here. Music seems a little loud, but yeah, those are all the brand new costume shinies, the brand new shinies, and the brand new Pokemon that have been debuted into Pokemon Go. My targets during this event are as many fur fro as possible. Of course, the Yveltal. I wouldn't mind a Diglett, and I also need that shiny costume Butterfree because Butterfree is one of the best bug Pokemon of all time. But I've done enough squawking. Let's go ahead and open up this game for the first time today here and see what we can get in the mecca of fashion any second now any second now time's a factor you wear your surroundings my surroundings are filled with fashion no they're not no they're not it's a gramble staring at me gramble's one of the most hideously never mind let's go ahead and go over here there we go we've got a blitzel first check of the day nothing something i forgot to point out is i had gotten a Blitzel that wears this costume in the last event as well. So I did pretty well last fashion event. I think we're gonna do fine this time. But we do have some brand new Mons on the nearby. Oh, there's Krogunk. The Marines and the Diglets are hiding around. So let's see if we get Shiny Krogunk with the hat. Do I have a Shiny Krogunk with the hat? No, I don't. I just have the full family. Okay, so definitely Krogunk is one of the ones we need as well. Shiny in costume, we have from last fashion event, we got the Blitzel, the Karelia, and I don't know at what point we got the Shinx, but there it is, bam. So we got these guys. We got a whole bunch of Halo stops we don't have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a lucky egg that I don't have. And uh, <laughs> let's go find the Marini and the Diglett. In our quest to find the Diglett, I've got my first fur fro. <laughs> oh, dang, I was really hoping for the first click to be it. 
999 ZB. Don't, don't think you're fooling me. That is definitely 666 upside down. I don't want to catch this one, but I did say I want to have as many of these as possible for the travels. Gotta remember to catch them all. Ah, okay. I did complete some field research tasks by catching that. So what do we got here for Fashion Week? I forgot. Okay. Ends in six days, four hours. An opponent appears when you complete all this. I get a lure module, five Pokeballs, five Nanabs. But an opponent appears, that's interesting. Oh, that seems very copyrighted. Oh my God, you guys, there are so many awesome things on the nearby. We got all the new Mons and then we got the Butterfree. That is what I need to find. Oh, it is not far either. Okay, it's gonna be a little difficult for me to get some clips here because there's definitely a lot louder copyright music playing. Didn't expect that, should have expected that in a whole gosh dang shopping mall. Butterfree, gotta check it quick, the music. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you, Butterfree. Oh, that music's blaring. They're trying to smoke me out of here, but Hillary just sent us the first Juventus raid, so thank you, Hillary. I just gotta be louder than the music. I just gotta be yelling like, ah, ah. Okay, it stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sick. With the four of us, we were easily able to take this guy down with still 111 seconds left. But there we go, our first ever Yveltal raid where it can be shiny. Check is happening right now. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. That's everywhere I saw online, everyone got this on like their first raid. Hillary, you're supposed to send me shiny Yveltals. What is this? What is this? This is not part of the deal. Yep. Here we are, catching it like a jerk. I am unaware of what the 100% is, so I have to catch this right now. Because last time we did something like this, we ended up having it 100% Deoxys, so I have to make sure I catch this. But it keeps breaking out. Yeah, we go. We didn't even hit you with an excellent or a nice. Get caught, scrub. Moment of truth. Mmm. Three star, but definitely not worth my time. Oh, but what do you know? That took us right over to the Butterfree. Let's check it out. Mmm, not shiny, dang it. But you know what? Butterfree was hanging out in the spot we needed it to hang out most, which is the freaking safest spot from any of the copyright music. Oh, but well, maybe we are 50%, 50,000. No, I didn't use the lucky egg. Oh no, use it now. I was spinning all these halos. Dang it, we just got snoided out of 50,000 experience points. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And we haven't caught any of these newbies yet, so let's see where you guys are at. Ooh, Furfro just spawned on my face. Furfrizzle? Mmm. Thank you, Furfro, for getting caught. It's another one. We're gonna clip that hair. Well, that didn't take long, and yes, those Butterfreeze are not shiny. But look at that, right at this stop, we've got a Diglett and a Rini. So let's do the Diglett check for, oh, oh. Actually, you know what? Let's not do the Diglett first. Let's go ahead and click this Marini, which actually looks a lot cooler. Ah, there's Diglett. We're clicking him. Nothing. I will not catch this one just yet because I like to see the shadows on the nearby so I know where to go if need be. Marini, on the other hand, I can catch you right away. Oh, God. Oh, why is this in Fashion Week? You guys can't tell me you actually like Marini, right? I mean, I'm gonna just give it a pineapple just so we get the candies and we don't have to see more of these before we eventually have to evolve it, but oh my lord. I'll give you a great ball. Oh, God. Back to the no music corner. Wouldn't you know it, this Marini jumped out of the ball and look at the way it attacks, dude. Look at that, oh, oh, oh God. Here, let's just try to get an excellent with one hand and not even get close. Just stay in the ball. I don't wanna look at you anymore. Stay in the ball. There we go, first Marini caught. Here at Fashion Island. Dex entry, there it is, oh. This should be something that came out for Halloween. And it doesn't have any special requirements to evolve into Toxapax. Right, there we go. Brand new Pokemon in the decks. Marini. One shadow down, two to go. Where is this at? Never mind. All right, I'm going to explore the rest of this island and we'll see what we get. Oh, dude, okay, look at that. Over on the left, hey, hey, stop it, music. First of all, there's a Karelia check here on the incense, which is not shiny, which is fine. But right next to my ducklet is a random wild ducklet spawn. Let's go. Whether this incense gives me one or not, because I have definitely not been seeing a lot of spawns here. It was a complete mistake using it right here. It was a mistake wearing a turtleneck in the gosh dang heat. <laughs> no incense goes without a ducklet. Three, two, one. Dude, look at how sorry this is. Six Pokemon caught the incense. Don't don't worry, we got a Bell Sprout. Not a good look at the start of a non-prime time event. Okay, 
Let's do what we should have done a long time ago and GTFO. All right, everyone, we are back home editing right now. And as I was leaving Fashion Island, we ran into a shiny freaking Marie. So we ended up getting a shiny on day one. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video goes up and when we eventually get the shiny glare, not shiny glare, but the legendary, the glaring legendary birds on the incense. Let me know how your fashion week is going in the comments. And with that said, take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.